Hey, this is Rosa from Rosa's Resources. I am laying here. I'm chilling out, man. I'm chilling out. Listen, this video goes out to my young African-American brothers, right? Young, old, it doesn't matter. But I'm specifically speaking to um, young brothers, um, I want you to know that we love you. I want you to know that you're supported and loved and that there's people in our community that you can go and talk to if you don't have um, a male figure. There's a mentor program, like the Brotherhood program, that you can go and, you know, get mentorship from um, men that have been there, done that, men that have businesses, um, men that are established, you know, reach out to men in your community that are upstanding citizens, reach out to them, sit down and talk to them, but uh, make sure you are careful because, you know, you have a lot of predators out here. But anywho, look and learn, basically. Look and learn. There's mentorship programs out here. Um, you can start with the Salvation Army as well. Um, I'm sure they have programs in there. Um, but dear young man, I just want you to know that you are valuable to society. You are valuable to yourself. Um, and God love you, even when the streets say they lo love you, but they really don't. I want you to know that it's okay for you to uh, stand out of the box in your own lane. Um, you don't have to be a follower. I know it's a lot of pr peer pressure out here, but you could stand outside of the box and stand in your own lane. I know it's very hard, but in order to do that, you really have to be strong and go inwards, you know? I know when you walk outside of your building, your community, um, your school, wherever you guys go in the neighborhood, I know that it's hard for you. I know that it's a lot of pressure on you to be like everybody else and you don't have to it's just so um, easy to follow the leader but it's so it's a challenge and it takes a lot of character for you to step outside of the box and stand in your own lane and create your own world, no matter what somebody has to say about you in your community. I know even in your family, you don't have support. Because once you get to the right full age of 18, they push you out of the house, they tell you to go be a man without any instructions sometimes, without any financial help or financial education. And we all know that school don't teach us enough of those things, you know. Best thing I could say to you, young brother, is educate yourself. Go in the library, go on your phone, go on uh, YouTube, and find some mentors as well. Learn as much as you can. And take it, you know, take it one, you have your whole life in front of you. And sometimes I know you don't have uncles, and even if you do have uncles and cousins, um, a lot of them fall into the trap of gang members, uh, going to jail, and taking the wrong path. But I'm here to tell you, young brother, it's okay for you to step outside of your box. It's okay. Shine and shine brightly. It's okay. You will be surprised how many other young men want to follow behind you. Just want you to be be the leader and um, 
take the first step so they could follow behind you in a positive way. You don't have to be on the corner. You don't have to do the regular things that everybody else is doing. You could step into whatever is in your mind. As long as you could dream it and imagine it, it could come to life, young man. It sure can. You could be the first. But the first thing you have to do is not to be scared. Especially when there's nobody else that ever done it and everybody else is following the leader. Step outside of the box. I want to also encourage you, um, young brothers, whenever you're coming outside, please take a picture of your identification and put it on your phone so you always have your ID with you. You shouldn't be coming out of the house without ID. So please, uh, if you don't have a non-driving um, ID um, or a driver's license, if you're driving, if you don't have a non-driver's ID, like a permit, um, like an ID that they could give you at the uh, DMV, you could get a passport card. I know it's a little expensive, but you can get that as well. That's a great identification. You could get the uh, passport card, which you could uh, just get your passport instead of bringing around the passport book. There's an ID that you could have. Um, and just take a picture of your ID and don't come out the house with, with, without it. Make sure it's on your phone. Okay, guys? Have ID. When the police stop you, please don't run. I know a lot of people want to comment about that. but And you need to learn your rights as well. You need to ask the police why are you being de detained. And if you're not being detained, you're supposed to legally be able to take off. But... You don't want to make no sudden move with these cops. It's not going to... Basically, what I'm saying is I prefer for you to be safe and sound than to be six feet under. It's okay, guys. Um, if the police stop you and are harassing you, uh, I know you guys are smart. Just uh, take a, a mental picture of the officer's ID in your head, like basically take a picture of it in your head, continue to read the number off in your head so that you can um, make a complaint about that officer. You also can ask to request to speak to a captain as well. Just FYI, guys, I need you guys to be safe out there. One thing I really want to say is step outside of the box. If your friends are smoking, you don't have to smoke along with them. It's not necessary. I mean, I was looking in the park the other day. Everywhere I go, it was like smelling like marijuana city because, you know, it's legalized now, so everybody's smoking, and then they have the smoke shops for you guys to go and buy smoke and kill off yourself. God knows what kind of chemical they're putting in there. You know, everybody is doing it now. You know, it's just... <sighs> you know, guys, like I said, step outside the box. You're smoking hookah. You're smoking. Who's healthy? Who's healthy? You don't have to do it because your friends are doing it. Let them laugh. Let them talk. It's your life and it's your health. Okay? Your life, your health. And the brown juice that you guys love to drink so much, what do you call it, Hennessy? What's the point? What's the point of how much Hennessy can you drink? You know? You end up someplace in a dangerous situation. You're drunk and you're falling over. You can't even help yourself. You got to be alert when you're in these streets. That's a gangster for you. A gangster don't stumble down and don't know where they are and high out, high, high out their mind. Okay? A gangster is always alert. A gangster don't have to walk in, in, in a group of, a whole group of gang. Sometimes, guys, one away. Sometimes just be by yourself. You know what I mean? A lot of you guys don't step out of the neighborhood that you're originally from 
because, you know, people say you can't go in different neighborhood without protection and blah, 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 blah. I beg to differ, but, you know, you young people do whatever you want to do. I'm just saying. Um, be careful in these streets. The streets don't love nobody. The streets don't love nobody. You know, a lot of times you hang around with your friends a hundred deep, and as soon as something happens, <laughs> it's zero deep. You're laying on the hospital bed, you don't even see one friend. You go to jail, you don't even see one friend. You get hurt when you need somebody, there's nobody to be found. But these are your homies. You know, so I just want you to be careful and stand outside of the box. I just really wanted to get this video uh, made for you guys. I love you. You're beautiful. You need to know that you are amazing. And no matter how society uh, step on you and kick you down and continue to kick you down, just know that you should get back up. Nobody defines you. It's nothing wrong with going to school, taking a trade. If you choose to go to college, that's up to you. If you want to take a trade, that's up to you. If you want to go to the library and read a million books, that's up to you. Uh, it's cool to be a nerd. It's cool to be outside of the box. It's cool. Okay? It's cool to surround yourself with different groups of people, uh, Indian, Puerto Rican, Jamaican, whatever it is. You know, it's cool to get to know um, other people from different neighborhoods. It's cool to step outside the box, guys. It's cool to listen to wisdom, what you call wise counsel from older people. Utilize the older people. They got stories to tell. You know those old Gs that a lot of them like to beat up in these streets? The old Gs. Not all of them, because some of them have issues too. But the old G's have wisdom. Wisdom because they've been there, they done that. They weren't always they weren't always old guys. They were in these streets too. Okay? So that's uh that's a message for my young men. You know? Y'all keep your head up. And you don't have to have a it's okay to smile, guys. It's okay to smile. You don't have to have a mean grill on your face all day, every day. You ever heard about Smiley? Smiley is a wicked gangster. He's the one that killed him slowly with a smile on his face. Not that I'm condoning violence. I'm just saying. It's okay to smile. Nothing wrong with that. And another thing. You guys, a lot of you haven't even cried since you was a baby. It's okay if you want to do it behind closed door and cry in your bathroom. It's okay for men to cry. Okay? I don't know who told you guys that, but crying... Make, it strengthens you up. I'm not saying to be out here crying, crying like a baby, but if you want to cry, you cry. Men, cry. You guys need to cry. You need to, it's okay to get in touch with your feelings. Feel your feelings and stop hiding it. Feel your feelings. It's okay to cry. No matter what the older men say, it's okay to cry. It's okay to have empathy and sympathy and to love and have compassion and emotional intelligence, it's okay. Okay? And one more thing. Domestic violence is not cool. Control your anger. You don't have to hit someone. If you have to be with somebody and have to hit them, even though it's a learned behavior for most, walk away. Work on yourself. Nobody deserves to be hit. Nobody wants to be hit. The one that you hit, it might be the last time you do that, especially when you close your eyes to go to sleep. So please, keep your hands to yourself, young man. Walk away. Screaming and yelling in the street. When you have your lady, you both yelling at each other. Again, I know you learn some toxic behavior. We, we as older people are trying to get better with that as well because we're the ones teaching you guys. We are your teachers. And... Uh, um, as an old, old G, I'm telling you, keep your hands to yourself.
work on yourself before you even get into a relationship. And if you find that, and do not look at ladies, uh, I know you're young and you have your hormones uh, kicking all over the place, but she not only have to be, um, she's not only, um, I know you're looking at her physical, so not only her body got to be banging, but she got to have a brain too, you know? She should be nice and calm and she should be spiritual as well. It's not all about a body because if all she has is a body and a bad attitude, you're going to catch hell, okay? And no babies. Don't bring no baby into this world that you can't take care of. And don't have 10 kids with 10 different baby mothers. It's not cool, okay? It's not cool and it's not fair to the kids, okay? Allegedly, don't be a Nick, Nick Cannon. It's not a pretty look, even for him with so much money. It's not cute. Kids need to get to know each other. You know, once upon a time, uh, my my child's, one of my child's father, um, of course, my daughter's f from me, and he has uh, other kids outside, and one of the other kids was trying to holler at his own sister. So you guys, be careful what you do on these streets, you know? Make sure if you have kids, they know each other, because that's not, that's not cool, you know? Anyway, so that's me loving on you guys. Love yourself. And it's okay to step outside the box. God bless.